Thank you for having me here. As you said, my name is Gabriela Castillo. I'm part of the Remax Coastal Properties uh, office in San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua. Uh, and you can definitely say that I'm living the dream on the Southern Pacific coasts of Nicaragua by choice, because I'm there because I want to be. First of all, I wanted to say thank you to all of you for being here. I also wanted to say thank you to Jesse and Michael specifically for coming up with uh, what we now know as the video boot camp. Um, I live in Nicaragua. I come to the United States maybe three, four times a year at most. Um, but when I come to the Remax R4 convention, which I try to do yearly, I always try to like squeeze as much out of it as I can. And so when I saw in 2016 that they were offering a two-day video boot camp that started on Sunday, I was like, Oh, I'm going to miss everything, all my other opportunities on Monday, but this sounds really good. Uh, so I think I'm going to go for it, and I did. So why did I get into video? Why did I choose this video boot camp? There's a lot more to it. I do video in a very different way to what these other guys do video for. I mean, these guys are like super technical, and they really know what they're doing with all of the apps and all that other stuff. And um, my situation was a lot different and uh, it was more strategic for me. I'm also the broker, so I wasn't really looking to sell a specific piece of property. I was looking to, um, to change some things uh, for my community, for my country. So, because it really didn't matter how professional I was. It didn't really matter how hard I worked. And it didn't really matter how great Nicaragua actually really is. So essentially, I had to figure out a way for people. I mean, even here in, in R4, I, when I first started coming in, I would say, I'm from Nicaragua. And everybody was like, ooh, that sounds exotic. Where's that? You know, and now it's, now it's like, oh, yeah, Nicaragua. Yes, OK, I know that place now. You know, So um, I wanted to kind of change that mentality of, uh, first of all, getting to know where Nicaragua was, and second of all, for the generation that's a little bit uh, in more advanced age, I wanted them to change their idea of Nicaragua. So my quest was a lot more in-depth than just selling real estate, although that does happen. Um, I wanted to change people's perception of the country and have them be more open to visiting and possibly investing or hopefully even falling in love with the country. That's my Nicaragua. <laughs> so when you say Nicaragua, usually people think of this. That's like the first thing. Uh, they also think just general poverty, war, conflict. They think of all of these very negative things. And it was really important for me to kind of change that perspective because this is definitely not the Nicaragua that I live. I mean, yes, I can go to the slums, and I can go to the dumps, and I can see all of this. This is the same thing that you would see if you went to the slums and the dumps and what have you in any other place, right? So what if I told you right now that Nicaragua is the largest country in Central America, and it has both Pacific and Caribbean coasts and incredible surf? What if I told you that Nicaragua is growing very quickly with an average of 9% annual tourism growth rate in the last 10 years consecutively, essentially, you know, a little bit less, a little bit more sometimes. Um, and it actually had a spike of 25% growth in tourism the last quarter of 2017. It's enjoying one of the strongest GDP growth rates in Latin America with 4.9 in 2017. It's the safest country in Central America, statistically speaking. It's, that was reported by the World Bank, so you don't have to take my word for it. And what if I told you that Nicaragua has the highest concentration of millionaires in Central America, according to Forbes? What if I told you that the country predicts it'll have 90% of its energy produced by renewable sources in 2020? Or it allows foreigners to have the same rights to land for owning as locals? Or that it has 14% construct construction growth rate for 2017, and it's predicted to continue into 2018, maybe even grow. 
I mean, would you be surprised by any of these things? I mean, I think most people are usually like semi blown away. It even has a six star resort where movie stars go. Really, it does. And it's just an hour drive from where I work. Well, actually, we have agents in that area too, so if you want to go see it, let us know. <laughs> so, in today's market, it doesn't really matter what you read. It doesn't. Like, all of the articles that come out about Nicaragua are amazing, you know. All of these amazing uh, travel industry places. You know, people read them on the New York Times and Washington Post. Uh, what really matters is what you see, right? And, and how what you see makes you feel. So naturally, initially, I focused on pictures. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get the best pictures. I'm going to buy them. I'm going to take them. I'm going to be a photographer. I'm going to do this. I'm going to grow the economy for my country, and I'm going to make, establish the real estate industry. And I'm going to do everything, and I'm going to do it by myself. So I got some amazing pictures. I posted them. You know, and yeah, I got some who's and ha's, and it was great. And this is, the country, this is the town I actually live in. I live right smack dab in the middle of that little town. You know, it's only, it only has about 17,000 people in the whole, in the whole area. Um, but recently we just broke about 1.5 million tourists for the country, and most of them actually do come to the town where I live in. So, after putting up all of these pictures, I quickly realized pictures weren't enough, not to make the impact I really wanted. People still had a whole bunch of unanswered questions. So naturally, we quickly thought, let's make a commercial. Let's make a commercial and answer everybody's questions before they get into the office, before they come into the country, la, la, la. So we started interviewing people who actually know how to do all of this video thing. You know, we started thinking about um, everything that I needed to coordinate to be able to make this a reality. And quickly, I realized it's a really long process to actually record professional video. It's extremely expensive. And I had very little control, which huh, is not my cup of tea. <laughs> And um, I was super dependent on this video guy who never answered my questions when I wanted them answered. So I started doing something else. I started doing what I call my little videos. You know, and at first I was like, I am going to go and make a little video. Everybody thought I was nuts because, well, I just, all I was using was my phone. So. I was like, okay, what am I going to do here? You know, what is it? Uh, obviously, I want people to fall in love with the country, so what am I doing? La da da. I started thinking, okay, I need to do something that is cool. I need to video something that's cool in the area, something that's new that everybody's talking about, or simply answer questions that I always get so that I can just send them the videos later on, you know, to people who I've just met, what have you. Did I have a learning curve? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You see this video, it's just a little thing, but I took this video in the high-end mall that there is in the capital city. But notice that lady back there? Yeah. <laughs> She's security for the mall. <laughs> she started following me around as soon as I started going live. She's like, uh -uh, you can't do that here. It's like, oh, sorry. Yeah, and I'm also very quirky, you know, I'm not a super techie, but, you know, I, I try to get the job done. So that's me on the beach, a super bad resolution because the internet data stuff isn't all that great in Nicaragua along the beaches sometimes, you know. But you see that? That's my finger. Because I was like, I need to point out that house in the back that's right on the beach. So I just put my finger up because I didn't have time to do all of the other techie stuff that everybody else does. But you know what? That bit got me more traction for this video than anything I said on the video. 
Everybody's like, ah, you know, I saw you pointing at that house, da da da. You never know what's gonna work. You know, you just gotta, you gotta do what what feels right in the moment, or you gotta try and solve your problem in the moment, and you just do it. This one was actually quite a surprise. It was super successful. I was um, in a new resort that has no view, which is kind of weird for us because everything that we sell is pretty much amazing ocean views. But this resort is an amazing multi-million dollar project in an area that has no views. And I just went live and started talking to people and what have you, and I got like 3,000 views in the first two days. So I was like, cool. The results of that, people started just recognizing me. They started to get to know me before I knew them, and they had their perception of me as being a local expert or being someone in the know and cool. I'm just a mom, you know, I'm just a mom, I'm married. But somehow I started gaining some traction. So since then I've been invited to a few TV shows and people seem to magically recognize me and feel more comfortable with me right away. And I actually do get leads. I get leads even though I tell everybody I'm a broker, I'm not, I'm not selling, I'm not actively selling or what have you, but people just like, they're like, no, it's you. You, you're the person I want to work with. So in 2018, I got back into sales. That's a little clip of one of the video things that I, that I did with a, with a TV guy in town. So you might ask, how do I do this video thing? How do I do this? This is my, this is all of my equipment. This is everything I use for my video. And it's essentially uh, this little thing that is a little light that you clip onto your phone. And that's what, it's super effective. I highly recommend it for those of you who aren't big on all the techie stuff and what have you, these little lights clip onto your phone and they're incredible. So I highly recommend this. I don't know, it's in an Asian box. It's called <laughs> selfie ring light. Yeah, <laughs> selfie ring light. Um, and the other big, big, big thing for me was audio because I had a hot ton of ambient noise with ocean and wind and birds and stuff that just kind of gets in your way when you're trying to say something on video. So these have been my godsend, the, the AirPods. They're my microphone and my hearing. And I recently did a live interview right before coming to R4. And... It was spectacular, it solved all my problems because before that I was always like, I need a Bluetooth speaker thing. I need something to be able to hear everything. I don't want anything big. I don't want anything to lug around. So that's everything I use. Just keep it super simple. So when I'm ready to go out for a video or when I think I'm ready to go out for a video, I just grab my phone my battery pack, I pick a spot, I pick a topic that I wanna to talk about. I make sure I have enough data on my phone so that it doesn't get cut off, because I usually do just go live. Uh, I choose a, so a social media channel. In my case, I'm very comfortable with Facebook. I don't really use a ton of other social media channels, but I'm trying. And uh, I extend my arm, take a deep breath, and really just press the red button. That's pretty much it, so I record or I go live, depending on how my internet signal is at the specific spot. The funny thing is though, I'm up here on stage, I'm really uncomfortable in front of the camera, I'm really uncomfortable in audiences and what have you, and there's a whole reason about that. <laughs> um, but you just kind of really do have to just take a deep breath, it's kind of, the feeling is kind of like, I don't know if you, when you were a kid or what have you, and you had to go swimming or take a dive for the first time by yourself, you know, that, that rush that you get as soon as you're about to jump in, and that like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Press the button, go. You can always delete it, okay? <laughs> so essentially, 
my recommendation and what's worked for me is just to keep it super simple. Choose your why for making your videos. Be generous with your audience. Give them the information that you know, people are always asking you for. Be yourself. They already like you. They're already watching because they like you. So just keep, be yourself. And just do whatever you can. No matter what you decide, it'll be better than the alternative, which is nothing. So if you're doing nothing, how do you expect any change? Thanks for your time, guys. Thank you.